Hey, it's Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. Today we are in the state of Georgia, big, beautiful Georgia. Uh, I skipped past a private island family compound that was over 17 million because there just weren't enough pictures to make it worth our while. But thankfully, our runner up is a $16.5 million, 12 bed, 15 bath house with 100 pictures here, which is. Uh, more than we've had before, so either I'm going to succeed in not going off on tangents and actually getting through these in a timely fashion, or you can be a team player and increase the playback speed. All right, let's go through it. All right, we got a fountain. You know what? That's a, an expensive house fountain. We've seen some weak fountains before. That's That one's pulling its weight, I'm going to say. Um, other than this, hideous McMansion just the most generically bland behemoth piece of shit what is this archway thing here that's on two, three except this one's not even big enough to ha um, anyway all right it's uh the roof line's a mess we got this square thing here we got this weird little round thing here we got i think that's a drive through over oh boy and that's the daytime shot and that's um we got the garage back here you do you drive through this portion of the house which means that this portion is kind of sectioned off we got swaths of hideous monoculture grass i don't know why this giant h is in the lawn uh maybe for heck that's a lot of grass why don't you have literally any flowers or edging or any like anything it looks like there's a little bit of greenery maybe just around the house but damn god this much property and nothing but grass oh okay so we got a second property here and this second property i believe is a water park I think there's just a water park on the property. That's just a thing that they decided to do. Um, you know what? Having been to a couple of water parks and felt, you know, the 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 misery of too, it's too many people, it's too loud, the lines are long, there's children peeing in the pool. You know, I could see the motivation to just just make one. Just make one yourself. Um, at home where no one else but you can go. I I can see it. Uh, we've got this nice big long tube slide. The tube slide was always the best. Yeah, that looks that looks like uh, some sort of resort. But no, it's like can you imagine, like if if you live in this house and you're like, man, I could really go uh, go for like a vacation. I've been working too much. I need to go on vacation. Let's go to a water park resort. <laughs> and then you walk next door. Fantastic. Uh, all right. There's something weird going on with the grading of this lawn. I don't really, like, it looks like maybe the land was really sloped and they had to just really cut into it in order to do anything here or else maybe they built up this slope like they wanted the house to be built into the landscape but they're I don't know I'm not sure what's going on there all right this I believe is at the risk no because the tube slides going that way oh this there's this little pavilion thing there all right we're inside the pavilion we got a sink we got food prep stations. This looks like summer camp. This looks like where, where they feed you at summer camp. Literally, it's it's like an agoraph like a mildly agoraphobic person, like someone who can leave the house but doesn't want to like leave the property. Um, and so they just built a vacation next to their own house. Oh, oh, we've got golf. Of course we've got golf. You got all of this monoculture grass. To water of course you've got some golf uh here's another view of the resort that's just ridiculous oh there's a hot tub up there that's kind of fun and you know this little walkway thing kind of fun 
it's like slopes down and the water just creeps up there. It's it's such a mismatch though. Your your house is always going to be next to this thing. And they're completely different styles and they're like clearly there's nothing else around. So it it's like yes they're separate buildings but it would look so stupid if you had a house that was like half McMansion, half log cabin. Is it really that much different to just have them immediately adjacent to each other and clearly part of the same property? It's it's basically the same thing. All right, that again. Uh, we've got a little outdoor chimney cooking area. This is actually kind of sparse. I'm assuming they're just missing some furniture here. Oh boy, we got the double grand staircase. This is, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to the California house. Uh, but this one is literally 10% of the cost of the California house. So it's got that going for it. Um, and you know, I would say these stairs are only 80% as long. Um, we're missing a foyer table. This little circle here, that's there so that you put a little circular table and there's some shit on the table and then the chandelier. You are missing a vital piece of obligatory furniture in the grand foyer right there. I do like the, the elaborate uh, metal work on, on these railings, but these ones on the side here are really awkward. Like the, the fact that they just stop part of the way up the stairs it's, it looks awkward. It's, it's not correct. I don't know what they were supposed to do. If they should have continued it all the way up. If they, they probably should have stopped it at the wall here is what they should have done and not continued it up. Um, yeah, stairs are a little awkward there. Uh, here's, here's the back side. Oh, oh, it's a double layer grand staircase. So we do sometimes see like weird stuff, like just a weird empty area underneath staircases like this. Not the case here because we've got more stairs that go down on either side. Um, that's, I've not seen that one before. All right. We've got a gigantic sitting room. Um, there is no TV over this fireplace, but it definitely from the placement of the furniture, it definitely looks like there has been one there in the past and maybe they took it down. Uh, that's, that's actually kind of funny. They, they hid their shame from us. You know what they've got? This looks like maybe a dark green on the wall there. I can't really tell the, the coloring. Um, they've at least got some color in this room and... Uh, the floor looks very cold, but I guess you're in Georgia. It's not that big a deal. The cowhide ottoman is rustic, I guess. We'll call it rustic. There's another view on that room. We got built-in bookshelves with no books, only knickknacks. Um, that's the sign of a, a real educated household is, is you just no books only crap is that leopard what the fuck is up with these houses in leopard print i swear this is the third house that we have seen in the series that had leopard print stuff is that is that coming back is that coming back because every trashy italian woman that one of my relatives dated in the late 90s was obsessed with leopard print and had it like on the walls and the clothes and the bags and everything. I can't emotionally cope with leopard print coming back. I can't do it. All right. Here's the kitchen area. This is the room that we were just in. So this is off to the side. We've got a second staircase going up. How many stairs are in this house? Is this the kitchen island? I'm kind of wigged out by the perspective here. Um, clearly this is like the cooking area over here and this is an island with a sink. It looks like there's this really long island coming down here with so many chairs. Like there's multiple seating areas here. We got the high top. It's like you go to a bar and they give you the option. Do you want the regular tables or the high top? Uh, you're in the same, it's it's a kitchen. You don't need that many seating options. Yeah, it really is just this long 
piece that goes all the way through. Um, the refrigerator is fully visible and gigantic. Uh, we're not we're not hiding the fact that we eat. And in fact, I'll say that this this room seems like a bit of a showroom, like with these these hanging overhead things. Like this is this is a kind of a focus area of the house. It seems a lot of different colors on the counters here. I don't know that I hate it. Uh, especially because we got the contrast, so there's kind of this greeny black on white cabinets. And then here we've got this, like, whitish red on, uh, like, a dark green or black cabinet. Um, it, it balances, actually. It doesn't look mismatched to me. And it, if anything, it keeps the room from looking too homogenous. So this goes all the way around the entire kitchen area. Um, it's, it's almost like at a bar where there's only certain ways that you can get in and out of the space. Um, this, this whole thing with the venting system, is that like a pizza oven or something? That's wild. All right. All right, no, we've moved into another room. This seems to be, I think this was next to the kitchen, maybe. Like, maybe that's, I think that might be the same piece of furniture we were just looking at. We've got, you know what? The TV's not over the fireplace. It's beside the fireplace. I think that gets a pass. I do. I think, you know, this side of the TV maybe would get wonky. I don't know. I don't know. I know that over the fireplace is 100% bad for it. I don't know what the adjacency rules are. I'm going to have to call in tech support on that one. Again, we've got bookshelves full of no books, uh, only crap, and a single piece of crap per shelf. Uh, that's, that's how you know this was staged in a really classy way. Um, the all-white walls and then this wood that that wood paneling in the ceiling looks a little out of place with everything else in the whites and grays and stark yeah and it's not quite not quite a coherent vibe in here is what i would say this goes out to a balcony there this is the uh, formal dining room i guess uh I'm not sure if it's just the perspective on the camera here, but the room looks a little awkwardly large. And it also, so with everything being this white, white marble, this blinding white marble, and then uh, very modern, very crisp uh, dual tone wall with the, the blue and white, it feels like this is an island of its own thing with the, the oriental rug and these, um, you know, a pattern chairs, like all of this matches itself, but it does not seem to match the broader room to me, or at least it's not incorporated into it. Um, got a piece of art. I think that might be some of the first art, at least some of the first art I've noticed in going through this. Um, let's see. Oh, here's, here's the books in, I assume this is like a little library of some sort. They've got, you know what? They've got to have maybe two dozen books on these shelves. <laughs> they got an entire room full of bookshelves with, with, I'll point out the bookshelf ladder. So, you know, they're really invested. They've got this whole bookshelf ladder. There's no fucking books on the top shelves. I, I don't know if maybe this house is vacant and was just staged and so they'd already took taken all of their books or what but that's that's embarrassing this is the foyer table chandelier combination that was supposed to be in that front foyer um just having this one table and this chair here is very awkward to me this room feels this room feels very strange and uncomfortable and i'm not really sure what's supposed to happen in here I, I feel like maybe I would put a stud, like a desk in here or maybe a table in here for studying. 
so you could like you know like it's a mini library room you've got books shelves full of books and you've got a a table where you can spread out and, and look at them another room full of bookshelves with not a single book on any of them uh just very carefully spaced pieces of crap and everything is like the same shade of wood i mean it's it's nice woodwork but there's really nothing breaking it up you've made the entire space a little too coherent and then this stuff doesn't match we got a big ass bedroom um i feel like there's oh yeah there's there's probably a seating area over there at least they have divided it with this wall in the open archways so that's i mean that's a good solution to the too much floor space in the bedroom problem um i don't know how much floor space this actually is i think that might be a weird camera angle um but with the fireplace here i feel like you probably like there's a chair here there's yeah, i feel like you're maybe supposed to have chairs there um um okay we got this is a very weird little couch is that a is that a fainting couch is that what that is um and it's again this is kind of like the uh, the library in that it's an awkwardly small little room with not much in it like there's just the fainting couch and the fire is this a is this a unipurpose fainting room do you just come in here to be distressed um or maybe have a nap strange little room strange little room we got a bathroom with a rock for a sink that was very trendy about, what, five to ten years ago. So uh, good for them. Good for them for being up on that. We got some very stern uh, stone work, or tile. I don't think that's tile. I think that's maybe wallpaper. I don't know. Maybe it is tile. Hard to say. It's very stern, whatever it is. And it appears to be the walls and the floor. Which gives you a nice boxy sensation. Oh, yeah, no, that those walls just got way more intense and intimidating now that it's a bigger space. Um, having the different color on the ceiling is an interesting choice. Uh, I feel like it might have been more successful if you weren't doing it in a room where you literally never have your eyes open when you look up because there's water coming from there we got this big ass shower we got it looks like that's uh we got multiple shower heads that one looks detachable that one's just the big one these i believe are jets that just blast you the fuck to the other side of the shower love that um this what is this that's not a shower what is that room is that a sauna is this looks like an oven or is it a tanning maybe those are like lights and you tan in here i'm so confused maybe it is a shower maybe it's one of those rain shower heads but i don't know this is a, a room that the rich have invented and they didn't tell me about it oh that's a white that's a white bathroom that is awfully white whoo boy and really multiple of these weird jellyfish looking chandelier light fixture things his and her sinks that are just miles apart you really don't want the other person messing with your stuff uh so much cabinet space what do you put in there i i don't know um oh and then we got the we, when you have to go upstairs to get into your bath, it looks elegant here. However, I would like to remind you that when you're coming down these stairs from the bath, your feet are always wet. And this looks like some sort of marble or stone or something. I think you could die very easily or at least at least maim yourself, injure yourself. Um... I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a safety hazard. I 
do like the idea of having the fire next to the the big bathtub. Like if you're gonna go ostentatiously luxurious, that's that's a good call. Okay. And here's the shower for that room. Here's some sort of dressing closet changing room. Uh, we got a giant cultural appropriation dream catcher. If anyone was curious, that doesn't go in the closet. Um, and it's it's really a kid's thing. Uh, you, you would put that over a child's bed is what you would do. So hanging it in the closet, I guess, do your shoes get nightmares? Um, it is, it does seem efficient to have mirrors on all of the closet doors because yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need a mirror in there. Why make it a separate thing? All right, I'll take that. All right, and then we've got a little laundry room here. Is this a refrigerator? I'm very confused about what's happening here or yeah, I, I don't know what that appliance would be other than a refrigerator, and I don't know why a refrigerator would be in the laundry room. Maybe it's, like, for steaming clothes? Maybe it's, like, oh, I wonder if it's, like, a like an at-home dry cleaning type closet. That would be wild. Um, if I had one of those, I might actually wash my dry clean only clothes. This is the basement, because those are those grand, you know, the, the grand staircases above us, and then these are the ones that came down underneath it. I'm not sure what this hole in the floor is, if there's like a fish tank down there maybe, and then it looks like we've got a bar up here. Oh, that's a big bar. That's a, this is a full-size sports bar. You've got three, probably a fourth TV over here. Oh my God, there's more. There's another TV there. There's, a, that's too many TVs. The, the, when you're in a sports bar, the point of having that many TVs is that there's, you know, a bunch of patrons, none of whom have control over the TV. So you get like a sport, you know, a sport on each TV so that whatever sport people want to watch, they just sit themselves in front of the TV playing that sport. You know why you don't need to do this? And this household is because you fucking live here. You're in charge. You can put whatever you want on. And if you have guests over and they want to watch something else, you know what? Maybe you have a conversation. Maybe you have a con Or maybe it's a big fucking house. You can send them to another part of the house. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous to me. Right, here's the rest. This is obviously some sort of, you know, the big wreck party basement thing. I don't know, we got patio doors here. I think that's where that bit of, of land that the house is cut into cuts away. Uh, we've got the, the billiards table. If, you're, if your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, is it really a mansion? We don't know. Another, the fireplaces are beginning to seem excessive. And I gotta wonder what the chimney situation on this house is. Um, are they all fake? fireplaces and therefore we don't need chimneys or is it chimney palooza upstairs and you've got a full-time chimney sweep for this entire fucking house i think that's an air hockey table over there that's i have a suspicion of that i'm kind of i'm kind of into that we've got a basketball we got an indoor basketball court with a retractable hoop okay so this is this is some I, I'm almost certain that a professional basketball player lives in this house uh, just based on this. You don't see this uh, for recreational b-ball purposes. This was this was custom made for a pro baseball uh, pro basketball player who was living here. A strange little I, I think we're still in the basement. This might be to a wine cellar or something. Um, we got a fake plant, and you know it's fake because there's no windows here. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing wine cellar because I see this wine barrel here, and rich people are really into, like, kitschy little themes. A bathroom with a urinal. Um, why? Why do you need a urinal in your home? A, you're paying people to clean. 
I'm assuming you're paying people to clean on a regular basis. I don't know. I, I've never used a urinal. People that do use them, is it more enjoyable in some way than just using the toilet? I, I do not know. Okay, we've got this. This is a strange little space. I don't. We've got a Pirates of the Caribbean poster in this weird little. Is that inside this little room? Is this like a little guard room or security room or something that's just got. We, we've got a Johnny Depp fan in there. Oh, it's the home the Oh, that's so stupid. That's stupid. You got a home theater and you got like a fake fucking box office out here. I'm sorry. That's that's dumb. That's really what you're using so much space. Like I know you've got too much space in this house, but like my god. Um I will commend them on having hideous movie theater carpet like they really went balls out they were like no we want we want the tacky shit um for the record the reason that movie theaters use this kind of carpet is so you can't see how much shit has been ground into it over the years uh <laughs> the chairs look comfy i guess you got the big okay all right we're in another bedroom probably a guest room we got couch a barn door those were very popular what five ten years ago good for you good for you for being on it we got a feature wall i can't really tell what the shit that is but it's a feature wall we got another bathroom the bathroom is segmented into two sections so and in a lot of rich people houses, you'll see that the toilet has been relegated to a separate room that I refer to as toilet prison because you can't let them know you shit. They ha seem to have gone a different way with this unless they've got the toilet and sink relegated to a separate room. But it seems like you come in here and then the shower is off this way, but I'm not sure. This is a big... Uh, family room type area. We got lots of little fuzzy bean bags. That's cute. I like that. Um, giant fucking TV. I think the people in this house might like TV. It's a suspicion that I have. More bookshelves with not enough books to fill them. We've at least got some books on these nearby ones here, but look at those ones. Those are barren. I think this might be a, just a genuine case of this house has 50 bajillion bookcases in it and you know what these people it's not that they don't read ever but maybe they just they're not book hoarders and therefore what the shit are they gonna put on all those bookcases uh we got the bookcase ladder again um you know very necessary with all the books up here oh my what is happening it was all a dream i hope you are talking to me about all of these pictures of your house i just looked at that it was all a dream i dreamed it all and it was not real um this is a strange space like it looks like it's trying to be like an urban loft kind of room with the exposed brick and, but you're in a mcmansion in fucking Georgia. <laughs> oh, and the neon. This is a weird space. Uh, okay, we got this loft that goes up here to this hip hangout area. You, you know what? I like, and we got string lights. You know, someone was having fun with this space. Someone enjoys this space. This looks lived in. I'm, I'm into that. I kind of like having it over the, the bedroom area. Because it, it's still, you've still got your whole little living space. But it's separate enough that you're not, like, doing shit in your sleeping space and messing up your sleep hygiene. Got another very white bathroom. Just blindingly white. 
I need dark mode for this house. We got a standalone bathtub back there with a chandelier over it. Of course we do. Uh, we got another sink that's trying to look like something else that's, I believe, a baking tray that it's trying to look like. I don't know. Uh, we got another kind of lofty room. This is like a sitting area here, but this looks like a kid's, like part of a kid's bedroom. Got like a little desk over there and then some stuffed animals. And then it looks like maybe the bedroom's up there. That's interesting. It's all very white. If this is a kid's room, like let the kid paint the room. Some fun colors. Oh, oh, we had a pink wall down there. You just couldn't see it from that angle. And this one's teal, but still, it's still a lot of white. I guess, you know, there are more pops of color. And I, I wouldn't want that whole room to be pink anyway. And there's some weird stuff going on with the roof angles. Um, yeah, you know what? That might be the way to go about it. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of a cool... Like, the, the roof line of this house is an absolute mess, but from the inside, it's creating kind of a cool, funky space. Like, this is some weird roof line cutting into the, the room here. Again, I kind of like having the spaces separated with this lofting, where that's clearly her hangout space down there to do her homework and whatever she wants to do. Um... And then she's got her, her sleeping space up here. We got another bathroom. We got another, this looks like another, um, maybe kids room. All right, we've got a, we've got a, a dream catcher in a kids room. That's where it actually belongs. All right, there we go. Uh, and we've got some fun for it. We got an egg chair. That's so fun. You, I will say about these kids' rooms, it looks like these kids are actually being allowed to express themselves and get like, like this is a fun bed and it's got like a fake plants hanging on it and you got shit hanging on the walls, um, whatever this tapestry thing over here is. Like, this is not a generic space. This is a teenager decided to make this their own. Um, you do have a desk and the bed right next to each other, but, I mean, for kids, that's fine. It's fine for kids. Lots of these big fuzzy beanbag chairs. We saw those elsewhere in the house. Um, this is kind of an overwhelming stone room. Uh, I feel that it feels a little like a mausoleum to me. I don't know that I would want to get in that shower. I would feel like I'm never coming out. All right, we got like a makeup station, like a vanity. I'm guessing this is attached to that dressing room might be through here. They're, they're really sticking with this like feature wall kind of thing. And they're picking out the feature walls that have these cool shapes. And I'm sort of into that. I like this little hut thing. That's fun. You know, again, this is clearly a kid's room. I'm Okay, let me tell you some things that I'm really liking about this house. Because I, I know I, I go on this series and I, I shit on a bunch of rich people houses. I'll tell you, the first thing is that this is, I mean, clearly like a pro athlete's house and that kind of rich i mean first of all usually someone who's worked their way up from from being super super not rich um and is now experiencing it they tend to you know people that come from non-wealthy backgrounds and come into money they tend to spend more money which means they're circulating it they're not hoarding it the way uh that old money hoards their money um, also, celebrities, like, lower-level celebrities like this, they're not, like, like, they're rich, yes, but they're not wealthy. They are not the 1%. A, a $16 million house sounds like so much, especially a $16 million house with a fucking resort next to it. It sounds like so much, but keep in mind that that mansion in California was $160 million. 
Um, and that probably was not their only home. This, this is an expensive house. These people have a lot of money. They don't have, like, lobbying money. They're not going to Congress to try to not pay their taxes money. Like, that's not the level of wealth that they're at. And the other thing I can tell you about looking at this house, I mean, you remember in Alabama and Arkansas, we were looking at those fucking quiverful looking houses where they had, you know, 11 bedrooms and they're still sleeping the kids four to a room. Um, and the, and the, the kids rooms were completely impersonal and sterile and colorless. Looking at that room, it didn't feel like they cared about the children that lived in that space. They didn't let the kids express themselves into the space that they lived in. This house, you've obviously got at least three different, I think I've seen three different um, kids' rooms or young people's rooms. Um, and they're all very expressive. Like, this looks like a younger kid's room. So, I've you know, mom has probably helped to decorate it in some way. But, like... The, got a lava lamp here that's so fun you got this little this little hut here so he can feel cozy because we've talked about little kids being in gigantic atrium sized bedrooms and how scary that is and you see like shadows on the walls at night because there's just too much space they, I mean this is a huge bedroom to put a little kid in but they fixed they made him cozy they gave him a cozy little space to feel safe like I feel love in this Chili's tonight. I'm actually, um, I'm getting some warm feelings about this space. Got, and, and there's beanbag chairs everywhere. Come on, that's so fun. That's so fun. I like, is this orange? I like that it's orange. I like that they're using these loft spaces. That's fun. The bathrooms are terrible. They really got to do something about these bathrooms. This makes me, like, D don't put the same stonework on the floor and the walls. It it just, it makes me feel like I'm in a box. It gives me vertigo and claustrophobia at the same time. Don't do it. Uh, we got another laundry room, but you know what? I guess you got a big house and multiple kids and getting all of those kids to wrangle their clothes from the other fucking side of the house to this one. Maybe you need two laundry rooms. I'm not going to judge. All right, we got an interesting attic space here with lots of closets and then two desks. Maybe this is some sort of guest room? I'm curious. This might be another... Oh, this might be like a, a kid's room or playroom. You got two TVs. There's a lot of TVs in this house. Jesus Christ. Um, the ceiling woodwork is kind of cool. Whatever this room was used for... It's not being used for it now. That was just empty. There's the staircases. There's a lot of a lot of TVs and a lot of stairs. Okay, I think we are going into the resort now. We're going we're going on vacation all the way next door. Come on, kids, pack up. We're going to the cabin. And a lot of a lot of woodwork. It's it's nice woodwork big kitchen, little little cozy family dining area, cozy family. I love that this is like a house as if they go on vacation over here. But I'm picturing like the family <laughs> going on vacation and all sitting in this little sitting area together as if they don't have 10 living rooms in the house <laughs> next door. All right. And we're not disguising the refrigerator. You know what? These, because these are not old money people, they don't know about hiding the refrigerator. No one told them. No one told them that you're supposed to keep that shit hidden uh, because you're not supposed to seem human. Uh, it's You know what? It's fun that they tried to make this look rustic. I, I keep getting just whiplash from the fact that this is next door to the mansion. And it's... You, you take like 10 steps across the lawn and now we're pretending that we're in the wilderness. Um, I'm a little confused by this like stone facade. 
when you've got this countertop that continues out and it's literally just under there. And we got this little breakfast nook, nice and cozy. This, there's not there's not too much going on in this space. We got we got a fireplace. And then we got an, an a spare bedroom upstairs with all all of the Texas pride. We are in Georgia and someone was like, "Fuck you, we're from Texas." Um which is the attitude I, I from what I understand of everyone that is from Texas. We got oh god, the the cow skull lamps. That's a lot. Oh, we got a nice bathtub, nice shower. This is this bathroom is honestly so much nicer than all of the bathrooms in the other house. There's a variety of surfaces. There's tile and wood and wall, and I don't feel like I'm in a little box and it's not all white. Uh, we get oh look, there's bunk beds. And they're, they look to be like dangling bunk beds or, or at least supported by these chains. That's fun. That's a fun detail. All right, we got an upstairs loft area. Got another bedroom here. Looks like another kid's room maybe. Um, ladders upstairs. Okay, so we're like just taking the, the ladders upstairs to, to more kids' areas, I think. Um, and then this, I don't even know what floor we're on anymore. We've got another TV in case there weren't enough TVs on this property. Uh, this couch is 10,000 miles away from that TV, though. Another, this, this is a big cabin. Where are we? I'm so confused. All right, we're out on the patio. That at least makes sense to me. And here's the outdoor patio area. Have some cookouts out there. Is this a second smaller cabin? Hey dog, I heard that you like cabins, so I built a cabin for your cabin. Yep, this is a second smaller cabin. This one only has a mini fridge and a microwave, so we don't have a, a kitchen here, but we do have this nice bench seating. There, oh, no, I, I see a big fridge. Oh, they're hiding it. They're hiding it. There's bathroom spiral staircase. And a loft bedroom. And a little porch. I like, you know what? A mini cabin to go next to your big cabin to go next to your mansion is just, uh, someone was just following their impulse there. They, you know what? They, they weren't trying to think about resale. They weren't trying to think about what made sense. They were just like, I really liked building a cabin next to our mansion. So, you know what I think would make me <laughs> happy next is to build another cabin next to our cabin. Uh, this looks like a giant garage or something. Maybe you've got ATVs or something. I think that's what people in Georgia do. They ride ATVs. Uh, or maybe, maybe there's, I don't know, drugs in there or horses. I don't know what you put in a garage like this. Maybe they got a plane. Hey, remember that plane in Alaska? That was fun. Oh, and we're inside, and I, we figured out what you put in it. Absolutely nothing. Uh, but a nice little kitchen and bathroom. So it's it's kind of it's kind of like a cabin for your cars. And there's the property. It's a big old property, and that's this house. We had a lot to get through. Um, I mean, it's definitely excessive. It's definitely a rich people house. There's a lot wrong with it. There's some bad taste. But a lot of the like classic rich people tackiness and absurdity is missing. And I, I really do think it's because you get the feeling that these are real people living here, that, like with souls inside of their bodies. And they're not just sitting on their millions. They're going out and spending it on a 30th TV. 
because we didn't have one, you know, in the bathroom. So we thought maybe we'd get a TV for, yeah. Anyway, um, they obviously love their kids. They've got, you know, let their kids really take ownership of their space. They built them an entire water park. That's, I mean, I, I get good family feelings from here and who knows, who knows what actually is going on with this family, but it feels a lot better to me than those sterile two bunk bed, no color bedrooms that we saw in those other houses. So I, I would say mixed reviews, but higher than typical and good for them. All right. If you saw anything that I missed, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, follow your heart. And other than that, have a good one.